Hey, welcome back to the channel. So let's talk about why crypto is down. What's going on? I'm going to give you the exact reasons here in this video. As always, thanks for giving me a few minutes of your time. So do two things for me, please. Would you hit that like button below and please hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already done so. I cover crypto every single day. My name's Austin with two goals, keep you updated and help you make more money in this crazy crypto market. Look, this continues to be the ongoing narrative that we have right now where crypto is just kind of gradually moving down. And I'm talking about this number right here, the market capitalization. Right now we're at 2 trillion, 380 billion and change. We're down 2% right now. And just, you know, four or five, six days ago, we were north of 2 trillion, 500 billion. And so we've had hundreds of billions of dollars in market capitalization leave the market. OK, so what's going on? We're going to jump into that. I mean, we got crypto uh, down. As I said, we got Bitcoin now down in that 65,000 range. In fact, I haven't looked at where its 24 hour low is yet. So right now we're our 24 hour low is 65,088. So um, it's very possible. In fact, I think it'll happen that we'll see Bitcoin drop below 65,000. Am I worried? Do I think that this is the sky is falling kind of thing scenario? Absolutely not. I mean, bottom line, I've been talking about this on my channel for months and months. This is the expectation. We've we've been we've known that this is going to happen and kind of what's going on. Look, crypto markets down, Bitcoin down five plus percent. We've had a 20 percent crypto market drop. That's the one that I just told you about where we see we've, where we saw, you know, um, you know, basically a couple hundred billion leave that number, the entire crypto market capitalization. Right. OK, uh, so really what's going on? Well, it, it has to do with that same, quite honestly, very tired narrative and, and storyline that I'm tired of talking about. I'm sure that you're tired of hearing about it is that we we have the uh, inflation thing still playing out the federal reserve what's they what are they going to do their policies things of that nature um you know and we and we got we continue to get even though we've got gotten some good news on the CPI um you know the the consumer price index report still is not enough to write the proverbial ship the FOMC the federal reserve continues to not uh want to reduce the interest rate, the core, you know, the basis interest rate. So we have that. So really it's, it's this, you know, why is crypto down? It's macroeconomic data and federal reserve policies continuing to be the ongoing narrative, continuing to be the reason that we're seeing crypto move down, the reason that we're seeing these, these prices move. And, and I, you know, guys, I, I don't, I would expect that we might, we might dip down into 2 trillion, 100 billion and change. It's entirely possible because remember, I've always said this, we got, you know, we've got June. So we're at June 17th right now. We got June, July to get through August. I think will start to taper off and start to get better. And then we got that September, October when, you know, that's the good times when they begin. Okay. So we've got a lot of things at play. Also, historically, we know because of, um, you know, historically with the Bitcoin havings, the previous ones, we've got that at play here as well. So there, you know, there's that, that five to six time, five to six month time frame after a Bitcoin having rolling, you know, that we see uh, bad times, if you will, or when the market moves down after Bitcoin having, we're in the heart of that. So, you know, the, the five or six month time frame after the Bitcoin having the having happened in April, September, October. Okay. So all of these factors are adding up to the fact of, Hey, this is where we're at right now. So you need to kind of understand that this, this is going to be a, a theme, a narrative that we're going to continue to see play out in all of crypto. I think we could see Bitcoin go to 60,000. And I've said this before. I think that we'll see Bitcoin channel between that 60,000, that 70,000. Right now we're at 65. We're right in the middle of that. Uh, and all of, by the way, when I say, and, and then everything else kind of follows suit. Okay. You get a few outliers like XRP is at 4.6%, but everything else obviously is dramatically in the red. And I think this is where we're going to be, okay, for all of the reasons I've explained and outlined in this video. Okay. So again, I just wanted to kind of come to you and have let the, you know, let you know that's what's going on. If you're figuring it out, what can you do to protect yourself? Number one, don't freak out. Don't let your emotions take over. Don't start, you know, thinking, oh my God, the sky is falling and the ship's on fire, and I got to go jump off the ship into the middle of the ocean and drown. Don't do that you know, stick to your plan, know that this is the expectation, know that this is where the market is at right now. And, and quite frankly, get away from crypto, go do something else. You know, your, your portfolio might take a little bit of hit if you have long positions right now, then that's fine. Okay. You know, it is what it is. I mean, I've got long positions that I'm doing fine on, but I also knew that this was going to be kind of the rough water season. 
you know, and so, you know, I, I did buy some meme coins last week. They're down a little bit, but I'm not, I'm not worried about them because they're going to go back up. Okay. I, I believe fundamentally in, in uh, where we're at in these markets. And I own again, all the blue chips. I own Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, you know, all of them, Polygon, you know, Polkadot, you name them. I, I own XRP. I own all of those. Okay. And I'm not, and I'm not worried because I have a plan and I'm not going to let my emotions take over. I have a plan and I'm, I'm okay with that. And I know that this volatility period was a expected and we're in the middle of it and it's actually doing exactly what we thought it would do. Okay. So that's all I have with that. Go make some money. I'll see you. Thanks for giving me a few minutes. See ya.